Today we are reviewing the biggest, baddest, most overbuilt, literally I'm not kidding, this is the most overbuilt squat rack I think there, there is in existence. This is the seven gauge, three by four, absolute monster from Arsenal Strength. This is the Alpha 7 squat rack review. Let's do it. Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, your favorite Garage Gym Reviews website. And today we are reviewing this guy. This is the Arsenal Strength Alpha 7 Squat Rack. Arsenal Strength, for you guys that don't know, they've been around a little bit, but they're kind of a, a conglomerate of offshoots from other companies, some guys that had worked for different companies and decided to start their own. I know they've got a lot of backing from some big players. I know Flex Lewis is involved with them in some capacity. Um, who's a big time bodybuilder. And uh, they're producing a lot of bodybuilding type machinery and things like that, but they're also producing squat racks. And this squat rack design is one that they done and actually got the design in part from a company called USA Strength and Performance. USA Strength and Performance had been making some racks, had some patented designs, and I believe that Arsenal Strength had bought some of their designs and patents, and I'll show some of those off. But as I said in the intro, this is by far the most overbuilt squat rack I've used or reviewed. I'm not saying it's the most that's out there because I know there's some big ones out there um, from companies like Rogue, for instance, introduced the RM43, which is kind of a similar in size to this one. Um, but I will say this was the most enduring, un annoying install I've ever had. Not because of you know anything to do with the rack, but just because it's so overdone. So come in here and I'll show you this upright right here. You guys are used to, here, sorry Lynn, back up, I'm gonna make you exercise today. Come over here. This is a three by three tubing, okay? Three by three tube made of 11 gauge steel. This is what you typically find in garage gyms and gyms all over the country. You know, it's like, who asked for a thicker walled steel or a bigger steel? I don't think anybody did because of you know stability or anything like that, but this is America and if we want bigger, we make it bigger. So this is what you typically see. Now, this is what this is, okay? This is a four by three upright. You're like, why would you want a four by three upright? Because you can. Also because there is some stability benefits there. Um, four by three is not gonna move as much. Like this thing just, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't shake a whole lot. You could also bolt it to the ground if you want even less shaking. And then if you do that compared to like that, uh, there's the, <laughs> the time-tested shake test, very scientific. Uh, but a four by three uprights, it's got four four by three uprights. It's got a three by three upright on the back. But here's the real ticket, okay? This is made of seven gauge steel. For those that don't know, seven gauge steel is about 60% thicker of a gauge of steel versus three by three. So three by three, it's a very thick gauge of steel, okay? But as you go down in gauge, the thicker the steel gets. So that's 11 gauge, and then this is seven gauge. So think about your 11 gauge squat rack that most of you guys probably have, or some equipment that you have that's 11 gauge. This is, think about 60% thicker all the way around. So not only is it like more stable, less likely it's gonna bend, everything like that, like. 11 gauge is gonna bend anyways, but it's also much heavier. So moving this in, setting it up, everything like that, oh, this won't be a big deal. It was a big deal, it sucked, okay? Even for guys that squat a thousand pounds like me. So this whole panel here is welded, okay? So think of most racks, they're bolting the uprights to the cross members, you know, to the next uprights. This right here, this structure is all welded together. So this upright here, it's welded to this cross member that's then welded to this upright and then it's welded to this cross member that's then welded to this upright. So all of this, you had to move in somehow. So I called my buddy, he came over and helped me put it together. Um, and to say it was a difficult task would put it lightly, it sucked. But now that it's here, it never has to be moved. It's basically, if I sell the house, I'm gonna leave this here. Just kidding, I'm not, I'm gonna take it with me. So this whole rack, as I said, 11 gauge, seven, seven gauge steel, four by three rack. It's then got a clear coat, uh, powder coat on it. So I wanted to make this kind of like my colors. 
Uh, so I went with the clear grind, or not clear grind, because it's not grinded, but a clear coat powder coat. Similar to what you see on like the Elite FTS Safety Squat Bar, like over here. You can kind of see it. So it's very similar to that. This one's obviously been used a lot. Um, but similar to that, and then it's got the red accents with the black. So this is really what's unique about this rack. There's beyond just the four by three, seven gauge steel. Yeah, that's pretty cool, but that's not really anything revolutionary. Really what's special about this rack is this right here. So this is what I believe they call their power slide. This again was created by USA Strength and Performance, who Arsenal Strength bought out or bought their designs in some manner. So these patents are now Arsenal Strengths. Okay, this is how it works. Currently it's set up for bench, because I was benching here. Um, but the way that you move these up and down versus like a standard J-cup is different because as you notice, you don't see any holes. There's no holes on here, you don't see them. The holes are on the back. So the way this works, if you wanna come around here, you can see how I pull this handle. So when I pull this handle, it then disengages the unit and I can move it up or down. So pull, release, pull, release, pull, release, Boom. So it's very quick and easy to adjust the J-cups. I mean, adjusting J-cups isn't that hard. You turn it, pull it out, put it in. But again, this isn't really made for home gyms. This is made for like university gyms or those other gyms where, you know, time is of the essence. When you've got like 30 football players, 60 football players coming through a room that are adjusting different heights, something like this that's very easy to change is very beneficial. So you're going from me to somebody else or you're going down to bench. Just very quick. Hey, come in close. Listen to this. Isn't that just satisfying? It's like weights clinking. Something you just want to fall asleep to. That's nice. Now, the other part about this that makes it unique is yeah, that goes up and down, but then you have to think, okay, great, it goes up and down, but what do you do with this when like, you don't wanna use it for the J-cup? Well, this is the other unique function. So, there's this little tab over here. You basically flip this up and you take the J-cup out. <laughs> That's pretty cool, huh? So, what happens is this unit right here is always stuck to the upright, okay? So it's always there to go up and down, use it wherever you want, and then you decide what attachments go in here. So you're able to move this up and down. You wanna use a J-cup, okay? Slide it in, it's now locked in, not going anywhere. When you wanna take it out, just pop it out. So there's other attachments you can put in here. For instance, these on the front. These on the front are using the same trolley carousel design as the ones back there, the difference is this is just a different attachment that's put in here. So this is their, um, I forget what they call these, but it's basically a jammer arm style. Um, you know, all these racks now have these and it's a typical jammer arm. The difference with this one though, is it's got wel welded handles that are knurled. <laughs> also, I think, I believe it's seven gauge steel, so also heavy, but then these also have swing aways with this pop pins to swing it out of the way when you're not using it, or you can make it so it converges. So you can turn it so it goes in on both sides, and then rather than just going straight, you're coming in. So great for like, you know, doing various chest press movements or rows or things like that, just to give you a little bit of a change. But whenever you want to take them out, you can put something else in here. So if you want to take these out and put dip handles, you pop that up and then pull this up. Well, I haven't ever actually pulled those out. There we go. All right, so you pull that out. By the way, that thing is freaking heavy. So you could put dip handles in, or if you wanted, you could also just put in the J cup on the front, so like that. Then when you're ready to move it, once again on the back. So this like trolley system 
is kind of similar to this Rogue one. I mean, this Rogue one basically has this, I'm not saying like they designed it after them. I, I don't know who came up with it first or anything like that, because I know that's been on the market a little bit from USA Strength. But this, very similar, is you pop this pin out, pull this, and then it goes up and down on the upright. The difference is this trolley system has this fixed arm here. So it's, it's not as versatile as like that because this is permanently affixed right here. You're not gonna take that out. This is how it is. Whereas this one from Arsenal, similar model going up and down, locking in, and then you can place something in the front. So it's a, a very cool design. It makes for quick changes. That doesn't mean there's nothing like negative about it. So the negative part is one, you have to make sure that it's always engaged. So one time I went to put a bar on it and it wasn't all engaged. Like there was part of the handle was flying back. So because it wasn't completely engaged, once I put the bar on there, it went down to the next one. So you just gotta make sure that's fully engaged. And then the other one, I'll show you. When you put a bar on, because of the width of, like this is a pretty large device. So when you've got a barbell, when you've got a barbell on there, there's, there's chances that you could hit the um, back of this more likely because it's a, a wider width than you could on most squat racks because the J cups don't take up as much space. So this is really probably about four and a half, four inches or so of space being taken up here. So it extends a little bit beyond the upright. So there's advantages and disadvantages to it. Um, I really like the design. I think it's very smart. I think it works really well, but you just have to be aware. And then on the inside right here, it shows your number markings with the uh, Arsenal Strength um, like Marksman logo. So pretty easy to see where you are, up and down, very cool. And then the straps actually work the same way. So the straps go up and down like this, and then you can take them out, which I love this feature because if you use straps, you know how basically they always are permanently affixed, they're annoying to use. So whenever you wanna take the strap off, you just pop this up, throw it down, and now you have all this room to work with. That's one of my favorite parts of this whole system. I think that just a very smart idea works very well. In addition to that, they also, you know, just like all these companies with big racks, they're doing cool logos. This one is an Arsenal Strength logo, which again, I think this is seven gauge steel. So that's like a super thick plate, just making it even heavier. And then they've got barbell holders on the side uh, that come with them. Again, fully welded, that bolt on, and then this sweet band hanger um, or belt hanger that could hold probably a thousand pounds on it alone. <laughs> so, uh, again, everything's overbuilt. Now, Arsenal is doing things a little bit different than some of these companies. A lot of their stuff's like industrial, but at the same time, they're adding some like luxury touches uh, for those that like them. So, as you can see on these pull up handles, they've got this foam grip with like a metal like locking collar on there. Uh, you know, they look They've got them same here on these dip handles. So it's a cool look. Um, personally, I don't love foam or like rubber handles. Like Sornex does that on some of their like locking, locking pull-up bars and things like that. I prefer if it would just be knurled, uh, but you know, it's a cool touch that I think some people will like and provides something different to the industry. So this is, as you're probably guessing, a very expensive rack. Do I think that this is a rack that would work for most home gyms? By no means. This is a very unnecessary piece of equipment. You know, you don't need seven gauge. Nobody needs seven gauge. Uh, you don't need this big of a rack. You don't need this kind of functionality. But for people out there that want something that's unique, different, they like the functionality of this, they want to do custom stuff, and they don't mind spending on it, like this is one of those types of pieces because Arsenal's competing not necessarily with Rogue most of the time, they would be competing with like a Prime Fitness, that sort of company. So because of that, you know, their price level is much different. So 
It's a very expensive piece, but you get these kinds of functionalities. I'd love to see this kind of thing offered on maybe an 11 gauge rack with a three by three post that's a little bit cheaper, because I think it could be very commercially available uh, to people. I think people would really like it. It's just that right now, the rack that it's on is the Alpha 7, which is an amazing rack, but it's a seven gauge rack that's very expensive to ship, very expensive to install, very expensive to buy, everything like that. So this is the Alpha 7 rack. I really like it. It is pricey. You gotta understand that before you buy it, but you know, that's kind of how gym equipment is. This is one of those racks where if you bought it, it's the last one you'd ever have to buy. However, you need to understand, like if you buy something like this, you're doing it under the hopes that Arsenal would continue on the platform. What I mean by that is with these three by three racks, you can do, you can use, it's like a standard post, so you can use other people's attachments. With this one, because they own this platform, it's kind of like Apple versus Android. Apple owns the ecosystem. So this Arsenal Strength ecosystem is owned by Arsenal Strength. So you can only use their attachments. So hopefully, they continue like innovate on this platform and allow different attachments to go into these slots. I, I love them, I think they're very smart. Um, I just hope enough people you know, get into the system so they have enough reason to continue developing it. But this has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Is this type of rack too big, too overdone for you? Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, we'll see you next time, peace.